Score Puck Riots should have a willing opponent tonight in the form of Rafael Feijão. Light heavyweights Rafael Feijão Cavalcante and Igor Puck Riots have built their reputations on their aggressive styles. So don't expect to see anything less than an all-action fight from these two warriors here tonight. Croatia's Puck Riots has been a staple of the division since 2009 victories against James Urban and Christoph Szczynski among the highlights. In the meantime, Fei Zhao was tearing through the Strike Force organization, winning the promotion's 205-pound title in 2010 with a knockout of King Mo Lawal. Tonight, he hopes to deliver a UFC victory to his loyal Brazilian fans. Coming up next, Rafael Fei Zhao, opposite Igor Puck Riots. It's UFC Fight Night. Stay with us. So here is the 34-year-old Croatian Igor Puck Riots. 25 and 10 with one no contest for his career. And the Krokop protege had to wait a long time in the shadows of Mirko Krokop to finally get his opportunity. And has been hot and cold in the UFC, but has largely made the most of it. Yeah, Puck Riots. Very, very tough, has an iron chin. Very good in the clinch. Likes to strike from there, likes to pressure his opponents up against the cage. He's gonna have to be, be careful on the outside against Feijal. Well, Bryant's his last fight came at UFC 161 in June, where he was out-wrestled by Ryan Jimmo. So leading up to this fight, he's actually worked with the Croatian national wrestling team to try to shore up some of those holes, but if you're looking for a buzzword when it comes to Igor Puck Riots, as you see there, 14 career wins by knockout, another eight by submission. The buzzword is really durability. This yeah. is a very difficult guy to put away. That is a fact that Rafael Feijão is acutely aware of coming into this fight. He really is. He's very tough to put away. You've seen that time and time again. You'll see him hurt, comes back, always looking for the knockout. He has devastating knees. True survivor on the mat, has excellent defense off of his back. It'll be interesting to see what kind of approach Feijão takes here in this fight. Well, when Pacriot has won of late, he has been a finisher. He comes in having finished 10 of his last 11 professional wins. Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion, Rafael Feijão. Won that belt courtesy of a brutal 2010 stoppage of Mo Wall, and tonight looking to have his hand raised in the octagon for the first time. Well, Rafael Feijão, a very, very talented fighter, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, has a very impressive counter wrestling and offensive wrestling skills. And he's got Serious knockout power on his feet, likes to keep guys on the outside. Knockout power in both hands. And here he is in his second fight in the UFC and looking a lot more comfortable than he did when he walked out in his debut. No doubt about it, he said of his opponent, Igor Puck Riots, who by the way, has been intensity personified all week long as he stares Rafael Feijão down, but Feijão said of Puck Riots, despite his submission victories, I know his strong point is on the feet, so I'll be looking to mix it up here tonight. Feijão really is a game plan guy, and he'll be looking to lean on that strategy here tonight against Igor Puck Riots. All right, we are getting ready for the light heavyweights. Igor Puck Riots, as you see in the middle of the octagon, staring down. Rafael Feijão, he gets the Bud Light tail of the tape. Between the 33-year-old Brazilian Feijão and the 34-year-old Croatian Igor Puck Riots. A lot of similarities across the board. It's a one-inch height advantage for Feijão. That mirrors the reach advantage for Igor Puck Riots. Feijão in search of his first UFC win. 
tonight in front of the Brazilian faithful here in Goiânia. To get us going with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 25 wins, 10 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 204 pounds, 92.5 kilos. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, Igor the Duke Polkraets. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Holding a professional record, 11 wins, 4 losses, 1 no contest. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 93 kilos. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Rafael Peja! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Kevin McDonald. So Kevin McDonald draws the assignment here. On paper, should be a good one. Igor, the Duke Puck Riots, taking on Rafael Feja. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Well, come on. A quick touch of the gloves, and we are underway. The fight clock is brought to you by Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Nice left hand by Pagrayats, who is pressuring Feijão early. Feijão returns fire with a right. Now trading big right hands here. Feijão looking in much better shape and looking way more calm than he did in his UFC debut. These guys not wasting any time here. And Pagrayats pressuring, just as Thiago Silva did against Feijão. Yeah, Feijão did take issue with those who questioned his cardio against Thiago Silva. He really said it was a body shot that sort of made it look like he wasn't in shape, but there is a tightness to him that we didn't see a few yeah. months back. Now, this is where Pekriots really likes to take a lot of his opponents up against the cage. Likes to land a lot of knees and grind his opponents down, but Feijão looking pretty comfortable here in the over-under. Now going to a tight club here. Now going to the body with knees. Big knee by Fijal. And it's going to take a bunch of those to put away Pagrayets, but he is in trouble and he's down. Rafael Fijal. And they are going sick here in Goiânia. Wow. Fijal beating Pagrayets at his own game from the clinch once he locked in that tight club. It was all over, dominated the head of Pekriots. Knees to the body, knees to the head, and it's over. A standing ovation for Rafael Feijão here tonight. Coming in, all, all 11 of his wins had come by knockout or TKO. And make it a dozen, that streak is still alive. Let's get to the move of the fight. Brought to you by Metro PCS. Now nationwide 4G LTE. Rafael Fijal buying his time here in the clinch. And once he got that tie clinch, he exploded with knees to the body there. And that's the one that took Pekriots out and hurt him. Right to the nose of Pekriots. Changed the fight. Pekriots went into defensive mode. Shot after shot to the head from Fijal. Smelled blood and took Pekriots out. Kevin McDonald stopped in the fight. Well, it has been the night of the knockout here in Goiânia. What a moment for Rafael Feijão. All right, when we return, we will get you the official decision and we will talk to Feijão. They are going nuts. Stay with us. We are live. It is UFC Fight Night from Brazil.
Live in Goiânia, Brazil, for UFC Fight Night, Belfort versus Henderson. UFC Fight Night on Fox Sports 1 is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Big East basketball returns to Fox Sports 1 on Monday as the UMKC Ruse head to Creighton to take on preseason All-American Doug McDermott and the Blue Jays. Coverage of Big East basketball begins Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern on your new home for Big East basketball. It is Fox Sports 1. All right, now let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin McDonald has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 18 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to strikes, Hapayel Peja! Well, they've been waiting to celebrate here in Goiânia. I'm here with your winner, Hapayel Peja, as you bust your way into the UFC win column. Can you describe what it feels like to come through with that type of performance here at home? Todo mundo estava aqui esperando para comemorar. Conte para a gente como é que foi conseguir essa vitória aqui no UFC quase em casa. Primeiramente, tá no meu país não tem preço. Isso é para vocês. Sem vocês aqui essa energia levanta qualquer um. Primeiramente quero agradecer a Deus. Segundo a minha família que me colocou aqui dessa forma, a base de tudo. A minha segunda família que é a Tina Nogueira. E eu queria que vocês acompanhassem comigo. Quando eu quero mais. Pronto, só isso. This victory was for the crowd. I'd like to thank you all. I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank my family. And then my second family, Team Nogueira, because all of this was for you. Can you take us through the finish if you would? You knew he liked the clinch, but you sort of beat him at his own game. You knew it would take a lot of shots to put him away, and put him away you did. Você pode olhar para o telão e contar para a gente como é que foi essa finalização. Você sabe que ele estava gostando do clinch, mas você conseguiu chegar lá e apagar ele e fazer com o que você fez o que você fez. Então, eu sei que o clinch dele era muito forte, só que... O meu clinch também é muito forte, eu treino muito com o Anderson essa posição. Eu treino muito com o Minotauro essa parte de agarrado, então realmente é, eu estava muito confiante, eu sabia que ele ia tentar fazer isso em mim. Eu esperei ele chegar na distância e clinchei primeiro e comecei a disparar minhas joelhadas. I was worried about his clinch, but I also knew I had my clinch. I trained just very much with Anderson, also with a big knock, and I knew that I was going to be able to have him in my clinch, and I really practiced this. We know you've been waiting a long time to get that win in the UFC, and you got it tonight. One more time, your winner, Rafael Feijão!